my name is Erwin Chemerinsky. I'm Dean of the Law School at the University of California, Irvine. When I was in high school, I went to a program at Northwestern University. In many ways, it was a life-changing experience for me. It was an opportunity to spend some time on a college campus, be taught by professors from Northwestern and other schools. And in fact, that experience was so special, I ended up going to Northwestern University for college. It's always been very important to me to want to run programs, not just for law students, but to also teach college and high school students. In fact, if you had talked to me at any point when I was in college, I would have told you what I wanted to be was a high school teacher and became a certified high school teacher, though chose the path of law instead. Since becoming the dean of the law school here, I've wanted to create programs for high school students. I think that high school students can benefit enormously from studying law. Studying law inherently brings critical thinking skills. It's very much about reasoning and analysis. Also, so much American history and American government is tied up with the legal system. Studying about law can help provide students a better understanding that they need to know for courses like American history, American government, and others. Also, I think that studying law gives students a chance for public speaking and training in that area as well. In fact, we're going to be very careful in our program to every day give the students the opportunity to get on their feet, to argue, to have mock trials and moot court type of experiences, which also, of course, is helping to provide crucial skills training. So together with those at the University of California, Irvine, we're planning a very exciting week this summer oriented entirely to high school students. Now, the classes are going to be taught by me and by my colleagues at the University of California School of Law. We'll, of course, be supplementing it with high school teachers, college and law students. But the primary instruction is going to be done by the law faculty given a lot of thought and decided that we should focus on is two topics. The mornings are going to focus on freedom of speech. And we're especially going to look at freedom of speech issues that relate to high school students. What is the speech protection in public schools? What's the ability of the government to regulate things like the ability of minors to have access to violent video games? Then in the afternoon, we want to look at criminal justice issues. And again, what we're going to be focusing on is the criminal justice issues that might be of most interest to high school students. As an example, when can a high school teacher or principal do a search of a student's backpack or locker? To what extent can the usual constitutional principles be implied in the context of public schools? Would drug testing of all students in a school be constitutional? Though we want to look at criminal justice issues in the broader social sense as well. We're at a time right now where there's a great deal of re-examination about the role of police, especially about issues of race in policing. And we want to talk about all of this as well. It will be a full day every day for the students. Every day we'll have some lectures, some small groups, and some participatory exercises. I think that this is providing a program like none other that I've seen, and it's one that's trying very hard to do for students of this generation, but the program I attended in the summer of 1970 provided for me.